Hey guys, it's Norm. I'm here at NAB Show 2012. I'm here at the Black Magic booth. A uh, Black Magic, not known for making cameras, but here they have one. It's a digital cinema camera. And I'm here with Dan from Black Magic. Tell me a little bit about this camera. Sure, no problem. We we're looking at uh, you know we've been known for doing things like capture cards and of course DaVinci Resolve, but we found that as we kept going and going, we kept seeing these cameras out there and talking to post production people and saying, man, you know these DSL cameras are great. They have a lot of workflow challenges around them, and these cinema cameras are great, but they're not really accessible to everybody. So how do we make a DSLR-like camera that has a lot of cinema-type quality? So for $3,000, you're getting a camera that comes with both our Ultrascope software for VU monitoring and scopes, as well as our DaVinci Resolve software for color grading as well. And this is a little better than what you'd find in the sensor of a normal DSLR camera that just happens to shoot video. 2.5K, what does that mean? Well, what we wanted to do, because we wanted to have that cinema feel, we said, okay, let's find a higher than HD video resolution. There's challenges with going to 4K, because now you're dealing with things like compression, or you're gonna need a really big storage requirement. And because of our HyperDeck line, we already had this great solid state disc recorder. That's fast enough for us to be able to capture raw cinema DNG 12-bit at 2.5K which is a great you know, format for us to go and do color grading and image processing. But we also want to be very workflow friendly, so it can also record to ProRes or DNX HD, which is great workflow options for people. Let me get this straight. A normal SSD drive, 2.5 inch, you can buy off Newegg or Amazon. We'll just slot in right there, even a really cheap one, and it'll be fine. You know, we have a list of certified drives online, which are great. Some drives out there do compression on them, so they don't have the speed to do the Cinema DNG RAW. They'll probably do the ProRes and DNX HD fine, so it is good to take a little look at the reference we have. But, you know, most of your big brands, OCZ, Kingston, Crucial, these drives are going to be fine. A 512 drive is going to give you about 40 to 50 minutes of uh, the Cinema DNG, or about four and a half hours of ProRes or DNX HD, so quite a recording capability. And in terms of recording, you're going to get uh, about an hour and a half of recording with the battery inside? Yeah, so it's a non-removable internal battery. So you're talking about a 90 minute run with the battery. Um, it's about a two hour charge time, but it takes a 12 to 30 volt power input. So we know a lot of people are already talking about making external battery chargers for these things as well. Now, of course, what's important is going to be the lens. You guys don't actually make lenses, so you guys built the cinema camera to use a really common lens format. Yeah, the idea being that, you know, this is a camera that a lot of guys out there that are already working with the DSLRs are going to be wanting. So we felt that the EF mount you know, compatibility was a great way for us to go. So it's basically EF mount compatible. The ZF Zeiss lenses will also work kind of by happy coincidence as well. Uh, the LCD is basically the only uh, viewfinder option unless you plug in SEI output, uh, which is always on, that's 1080p. Yep. And this is actually how you control your settings. So what we're looking at here is this is an 800 by 400 single point touchscreen. So this is where we can adjust all of our slate type stuff. This will all go into metadata later that we can dig out. Or we can go in here and we can start changing things like, it's a native 800 ISO camera, but it does a 400 or 1600 ISOs as well. Basic white balance, though of course we're gonna do color grading as well as shutter angle. Uh, here we're gonna have our various audio controls. It does have a mic in the front for reference audio, but it also has two quarter inch balanced audio jacks on the side as well. Um, recording settings, these are all kind of set right now with the RAW or the 24 frames. It's basically a 30p and under camera, so 30, 24, 25, these kinds of settings as well. And then some basic monitoring settings. The focus is gonna be basically for your zebra and warning level and autofocus helping, but it's not gonna do auto, actual autofocus. Um, everything else on this is basically going to be, you know, stepping through, it's got a 13 stops on it, it's a high dynamic range. And of course it has Thunderbolt out, which is the other big thing on here. So we'll be able to capture directly off a of Thunderbolt or doing our ultrascope out for the Thunderbolt as well. So you don't even need that SSD, you can plug it into an iMac or a laptop and you can just record straight there. Absolutely, the Thunderbolts are great because of that high data rate, Apple, Intel, code branded technology. We have it all in lots of products, we figured out it to this product as well. This is really for the person who maybe has a DSLR but wants to take it to the next level and not buy a $10,000, $15,000 cinema camera. One guy said it really well the other day. He said, you know, it's great because it's going to give the DSLR guy that cinema feel, but it's also the camera that cinematographers are going to own. You know, they may still go out and rent these really high-end cameras when they've got that big shoot, but for the other 20, 25 days of the month, this is what they're going to go out and point and shoot with. All right, $3,000 is pretty compelling, and you guys will have it on sale in July. So it's uh, going to be shipping in July is what we're shooting for. I'm told people are placing orders with resellers now, so I'm sure there's going to be a waiting list going for the camera, but yeah, we're looking to start shipping units in July. All right, thank you so much, Dan. Well, that's the Blackmagic Digital Cinema Camera, new at NAB 2012. I'm Norm. I'll see you guys later. Bye.